Hey guys, it's SFP and welcome to episode number 14 in my FIFA 16 Morecambe career mode and that is right, this is a double upload video. I owe you guys at least that much and so for this week only I will be doing two videos per week just so that we can actually catch up to the point where we're supposed to be. Now, you must, you might, uh, I can't even speak right now guys, you must be asking, well, had you been on time, and you would have done an up, a double upload week this week, then we'd be a week ahead. Uh, well, that is the case, so unfortunately, uh, that's not going to happen, guys. But I figured I at least owe you guys this much, and so today will be a double upload video, and so will the rest of this week up till Friday. Anyways, guys, again, I hope you guys have had a nice weekend. I know I have. I actually watched a movie. But uh, for you guys who have already watched the episode for today, I won't <laughs> bring that up again. But anyways, here we have our starting formation. I believe it is our A team, but I'm not quite certain. Our last episode, we actually did beat uh, Burnley to go to the next round of the Emirates FA Cup. And so I'm hoping that run will continue. As we have here, we start off Mullen has the header, and then Ellison with, with a weird kick, yet effective, gives us the lead here in the first seven minutes. And uh, I said it once, I said it twice, I said it multiple times, but I'll say it yet again. Ellison has been excellent for us, and he has defied all my expectations for this season. I doubt he'll have a great season next year, but let us just uh, enjoy and appreciate the season that Ellison has been giving us this year. Here we have Ellison with the last kick of the half, and as you can see there, nothing comes of it, and that will be the end of the first half. We have a 1-0 lead, thanks to Ellison, who scored in the first few minutes of the first half. And obviously I'm not going to make any changes because our team is very, very small. And there was here, Will Dick Mullen has the ball, shoots it. But a nice save there from the Newport City goalkeeper. And Ellison, what a great, uh, actually not thinking about it, it wasn't exactly a great shot. I think the power was there. The placement, however, leaves a lot to be desired. Anyways, here you have John Lewis. And Lewis has an opportunity, finds it. And then here is where I am in awe because that clearly should have been a goal. It was point-blank range. There is no way. It, it was harder to miss it than to actually uh, to put it in the back of the net. It's weird. Anyways, we have Hughes with uh, a shot that actually made me... Uh, need actually a pretty good save. And it was here. You have Elito. Elito still has the ball. Finds Owen Evans. Owen Evans is going to go for the shot. No, he's not. He's going to go for Rodman. Rodman shoots. It hits the post, guys. And that will be the end of the game. We narrowly get the win here. But I will take the three points in the end. And we hopefully are breaking apart from the pack here. And by pack, I mean the second place team. Because I think right now. There's a little bit of disparity between the top five, I believe. The top three, even. And here we see that McGowan does not grow, but Ariskaita actually does grow, and he will now be an overall of 61. My goalkeepers right now have been growing splendidly. I'm very excited. And it was my A team, not my B team. So this is actually my B team. By the way, speaking about my goalkeepers, I've been excited with uh, their growth so far. Um, obviously, I've recorded far enough. Uh, to be able to tell you guys that um, my goalkeepers are sick this time. Uh, or they are going to be so overpowered uh, by, by the time we actually catch up, which hopefully should be by Friday. By Friday, I will have uh, uploaded every single video that I have at the moment. Uh, I have uh, four right now that are edited. I just need to do the voiceovers, including this one. Uh, but I guess by the time you see this one, I'll have two left. And then I have six uh, recordings that I have yet to uh, edit or do a voiceover. So hopefully by Friday we will be caught up. And you will see what I mean when I say that right now I have a nice group of goalkeepers. So, but goalkeeping is not going to be an issue 
for our team uh, because we'll have plenty of players that will be able to stack up. Uh, and if not, you know, I'll, I'll have enough where I'll be able to sell some and make a pretty penny on them. But anyways, enough about prosecuting about the future. Let's focus on the here and now. And this is my B team. And I gotta say, the the differences between the A team and the B team aren't exactly that big. At least in the of the back line uh, sense. The middle of the uh, formation here might be a little bit different. But the back line seems to be about the same overall. So... There's not too much of a downfall, that's what I'm trying to say here. There's not too much of a difference. And here we have a great free kick opportunity by Barfusian. But again, it's the placement of the kick that en enables us to actually beat the goalkeeper here. Had it gotten maybe a little bit more to the left side of the goalkeeper's area, we probably would have been celebrating our first goal of the game. But that is not to be, and that is how the first half will end. It is a 0-0 draw against Stevenage here in the second game, I believe. And now we're going to make one change, and it's because Wildig. Uh, I feel bad for Wildig because he's been playing every single game. I haven't exactly been substituting him off so often. But anyways, here you have David. David has the opportunity. David goes with the shot, and the sliding defender here actually gets enough of a touch to cause it to rebound off him. And we're going to get a corner kick, or at least we should get a corner kick. Now, whether the ref will allow us to get a corner kick, that's a whole different issue. And luckily, uh, he does, but it doesn't really matter, I guess, because we're going to end this game with a draw. As you can see there, nothing much happened either. One shot for me and one shot for Stevenage. So that is just how those games roll. That is probably one of the ugliest games you will ever see. So I'm glad that I edited it to basically the beginning and end of each half, because otherwise... It might have been a pretty hard game to see. And now we have our last game, I want to say. And this one will be against Middlesbrough. Again, for the FA Cup, I believe. The Emirates FA Cup. Anyways, here we have the next round, and hopefully we can get another result here in the round of 16. So if we make it, we're going to go to the quarterfinals, which would be amazing, guys. Uh, we are obviously a fourth division team, and just just being here actually is is quite a miracle. I must say, it's, it's not something to be. That's not something that's that expected. Uh, Jonathan Woodgate. I remember Jonathan Woodgate back in his Real Madrid days, man. 36 years old. He's still in the game. That's crazy. But anyways, uh, if we do manage to get this, that would be great. And I see Stuart Downing, the ex-Liverpool player, is there as the center attacking midfielder. That is interesting. And Daniel Ayala. I could have sworn he was in Liverpool, guys. I'm pretty sure he was in a Premiership team, and I know I, I've, I feel like I've brought this up in my other career mode that I'm doing with Fezar 3, and you guys should definitely check it out. It's a challenge career mode. Uh, I guess I'll explain that right now. Uh, basically, we're playing uh, Olympic rules, U23 players, with the exception of three players that we can sh of our choosing that are uh, over the age of 23. Now, we do have the same 20 players, so basically, it's all about tactics, how we approach the game, what formation we're using, and... and Basically, how we go about using our team in the schedule that we have. So it's very interesting. Please check that out uh, in my video section. Anyways, as you can see here, nothing happened yet again, guys. And trust me, when I do this, it's because nothing exciting happened in that half. And I'd rather just go straight to the point than have, you know, oh, this, 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 you know, little thing kind of looked interesting, this thing as well. So. Um, anyways, we have Murphy. Murphy with a shot at Murphy with the goal. Ten, uh, five minutes in the second half, we get the lead here. Thanks in part to Murphy. You see that Wildig finds David. David actually slides it right to, to Murphy. Excuse me. And Murphy with a left shot just curls it in the back of the net. What a beauty. What a nice team goal here. And as you can see there, there might have been a slight deflection. Now that I see it on the replay, there might have been a slight deflection, so maybe 
I should give credit or less credit to, to Murphy. And this is his second goal of the cup so far. Anyways, and here we have uh, an opportunity for Middlesbrough, and Middlesbrough actually just wastes it here. But even though it was an opportunity wasted, the fact that he even got a shot there is a little nerve-wracking. I shouldn't be able to give him that much space and time on the ball, so that's got to change. Jonathan Woodgate, the legendary center back, is coming in, and Mullen finds DeVitt. DeVitt has the ball. DeVitt beats his defender. DeVitt there. But DeVitt has no speed, and DeVitt with what a beauty of a shot. Oh my god, that is amazing. And DeVitt just clinches it here, and this is one of this, I know I've said this many times before, but this has got to be the most impressive goal that we've scored in this career mode so far, guys. That, look at that. Oh my god, it just hits top foot, and this was is the best angle to watch. As you can see there. Top, upper 90. And that is a goal that David will not forget, guys. What a beauty of a shot. And I had to take the shot from there because there was no way he had enough pace or speed to do it. Anyways, here we have Will Dick Mullen. Mullen tries to go for the ball. He does so, but again, he's not really fast enough. He's going for it. He goes for the shot. And it's a save, and it doesn't really, quite, it doesn't really matter, guys, because we have the win here basically there's no reason to to go crazy because this is it we are going to the next round i do apologize ahead of time guys and it looks at least from the recording it looks a little bit laggy so i'm hoping that's not the case when the video comes out but if it is just let me know in the comment section down below we have a corner kick here and nothing comes of it but it doesn't matter because we are going to get the win and we are going to the next round and that is the quarterfinals, guys. The quarterfinals with Morecambe, a low-level uh, football champion league. Excuse me, football league two team. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Please, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up with this training simulation. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter at SFP Soccer Show, and on Twitch at SFP Gaming. And Contreras has just grown to 61. That is amazing. Anyways, guys, see you tomorrow. Peace out.